Hey, it's Lee Halliday, and this is part two of a four-part suspense series. Um, you can watch it on its own, but if you're interested, there's a first part where we just cover the basics of, of React Suspense, what it is, and how to use it with React.lazy to lazy load components. In this part, we are going to implement routing using the Reach Router, which comes um, with built-in support, support for suspense right out of the box. So this is just the very tiny app right now we've got um, where it's lazily loading in the nav, which is being displayed, and the fallback of the loading state is being handled by suspense. So we are going to add some routing into this little app here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is add reach router. So I believe this is what it is. All right, and as soon as that's done installing, we'll just start up our app again and start using it. Cool. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import uh, the router from the uh, reach router package. And now we can just come down here right away and add our router. And then we can add sort of our child routes um, nested inside of this router. So we're going to have two different pages here. We're going to have a home page, so home.js. And I'll just sort of set up a bare minimum where we've got uh, an arrow function. It says home. Uh, export default home. Okay. I'll copy that and we're going to have another one called calculations which will be used for a different part of the video, part four, where we're gonna dive in and we're gonna build some custom hooks that do um, CPU intensive um, processing in a worker in the background and it's all sort of controlled by suspense. Okay, now that we've got our home and our calculations, we'll come back here and we want to basically set up different imports to import them Lazy, lazily. So we've got home here, and then we've got calculations. Okay, so uh, prettier. So now we can put our routes inside of the router. So we'll have home, which will be a path to just the, the home page. Is that right? I think so, yeah. And then after that, we'll have calculations, which will be slash calculations, like that. All right, and if we load the page, it should be failing um, because you can't use react.lazy unless you have a suspense component wrapped around it so that React basically knows how to handle um, when this promise of lazily loading these different um, components hasn't yet been resolved. So we'll come back here and we'll just wrap a suspense around the entire router. And uh, you can't put it in the router because the router wants its children to basically be components with paths. So it gets messed up if you were to have a suspense around sort of each of the pages. Um, so why would we do this? Well, the advantage is the home page may use vastly different JavaScript from the calculations page. And by doing it this way, when we're on the home page, it's only going to load the JavaScript that's needed on that page. And as we route over to the calculations page, it's going to make a, another fetch for a small chunk of JavaScript um, that is used for that page. So we're splitting up, hence the name code splitting, our JavaScript for each page on our website. And this makes the site faster because it's loading smaller JavaScript files and doing less processing for each page. So suspense requires a fallback, basically what to do um, while the page hasn't finished loading yet. So you could do a super fancy sort of, I showed in the first video, Facebook or LinkedIn style loading where it's got like some animated GIFs that indicate that things are loading, but we are simply going to have a div that says loading page. Very, very fancy. Okay, so we'll tell fallback to 
show the loading page uh, functional component while well, it hasn't yet loaded this. So now if I load here, I've actually got my nav loading too. You probably wouldn't normally have your nav lazy loading, but just for demo purposes. But you can see for a split second, it says loading page as it fetches the other smaller um, chunk of JavaScript. It's probably this one here because I think zero was it loading in my nav. One is just a small chunk of JavaScript that is only the home page. See, it's just 32 lines long, and I bet you a lot of these lines are, that are comments and stuff would be gone if it were in a production environment. Okay, so essentially that's it. That's how easy it was, but just to complete sort of the uh, reach router demo, we've got our two pages, but we haven't linked to anywhere, so why don't we update our nav so that it includes some links to take us to the home and calculations pages. So we'll come back to our, our nav, which basically has nothing. And we'll import link from reach router. Make it spell. Cool. So now we'll come into our nav and we'll say that this one will go home. And then we'll have another one, which will go to calculations like that. And maybe we'll put um, just a little pipe between them or something like that, like that. So I come back here, what did I mess up? Something, the word calculations. Okay, there we go, Add that space back. Cool, so I can go home, I click over to calculations, see for a split second it was loading that whole calculations page, but it's already loaded the JavaScript needed, so it's not having to do it again. If I do a hard reload of the page, calculations just split second loading and then it pops in the JavaScript for that. So that's how you can use Suspense along with uh, Reach Router to lazily load with uh, React Lazy. The Basically every page of your website will have its own um, code split JavaScript file. So if you've got 100 pages with vastly different uh, packages that each one uses, it's going to speed up your app a lot. All right, in the next video, just for anyone that wants to keep watching, what we're going to be doing is creating our own hook called uh, Use Fetch Suspense. And this will be like a fetch-based hook that has suspense support built in. So while it's fetching the JSON, it will show a suspense fallback, and then once the promise has been resolved, it will show your data. So check in if you're interested in that. Thanks, bye.